to like legitimate. No, that's really Toby One who posted that. Oh wow. That is disheartening. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, man. Yeah, I just was smearing my shit all over the walls. Just taking a dump wasn't enough for me. No, but really, though, like, I... There was shit everywhere, man. It, it was one of the most satisfying feelings in my entire life. I don't think anything will ever come close to it. What is the date today? It is 14th. the 14th? I'm going to yeah. mark this on my calendar as the day, the day of days. <laughs> Based Holocaust, pretty much. All right, I'm gonna sit out for this one, and I'll let you like do your thing. <gasps> you gonna sit out? Yep. Are Mango and Kazaki on? My niggas. How many an orphan died? Like, have you ever heard the expression "I could eat a horse"? I shit so heavily, it was as though I ate a horse, and, and then shit it back out in one foul swoop. I apologize to the people I was playing with, because it's pretty much a dick move to like leave any game, but nature calls, as nature's prophet himself says, and that was... I, I had an extreme urge to shit, to the point where it was intolerable, and I think there was less than a 5% chance we would win that game. The only way that we would win that game is if we five men wiped them at Rosh with Rosh under half HP and Phantom Lancer got credit for all five of the kills as well as the Roshan kill and got the Aegis. And even then it would have been hard. Why did you have to stop stream to shit? Because I'm a cool enough bro that I'm not going to make my viewers sit through me shitting. Most people will put up that like like a sign like like uh oh be back ten minutes but no you just shut off the damn stream and yeah. hope to God that people are still there. See most people though shit. are like finan like you know like they have a financial motivation to like leave it on because it's well known that if you turn off the stream when you're taking a shit, people will know that you're offline. Or, and then they'll like they'll look around and they'll find what other streams are on, and they might be like, "Oh, Sing Sing is streaming." Pro tip, dudes, he's not. And then they'll be like, "I'm gonna watch that instead." But I don't give a fuck how many viewers I have because I almost never run commercials anyways. Holy fuck, did my stream crash again? If this happens, I'm gonna fucking murder a child. I swear on my life, I'll kill a child. Did you ever play Mass Effect Three? Uh, no, actually. Oh, okay, don't do it. Did you play two? Yeah, I played one and two, actually. Yeah, yeah, just stop there, man. You're good. <laughs> that bad? Uh, yeah. People you, said Mass Effect 2 bad because they reduced the RPG elements of, of the game, which they did, but it wasn't that bad. But... I don't know, man. I just know that I didn't want to play video games for like a couple weeks after I experienced oh, what happened. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Thank you, Mind Twist. I really like you as a viewer, Mind Twist. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm just fucking kidding. I have no idea. But thank you for that. Statements like that make my day, motherfucker. Alright, who to pick? Who to play? Which hero looks like he could take the fattest shit of all heroes? Night Stalker. No, Night Stalker doesn't look like he'd take a big shit. Oh, okay. Well, then go for freaking Tidehunter or something. But you want to actually be a carry, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, then go for frickin' uh... Ten Ursa? seconds remaining. Nah, no. Five like... seconds remaining. Pudge, man. I wanna see some Pudge. I wanna see you play Pudge, actually, now that I think about it. I've never seen you play him. My Pudge is legendary, but we already have a Beastmaster and Darkseer. Fuck. From the outer dark I come. Outworld Destroyer? The Outworld Destroyer looks like he's pretty backed up. After all, he's kind of a shit hero, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. See what I did there? 
What'd you do? Called the hero shit. I bring bad news. So how do you build new meta build? How do you build Outworld? Lots like, of intelligence. You could go morning. mech too, because this mech gives you plus stats, but it's not that great. I'm gonna do it this game because I randomed and I wanted to fuck around. I've literally never bought a headdress with random gold ever, because it's not that good. Wouldn't the lich just go for it? No. Okay. I'm gonna go for uh mech. Probably. What is this build? It's an awful build, and you should never emulate this, because it's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> is this just the day that it's like, like the shittiest Barney? Well, I have to, I have to let them know. I have to let them know, because they need to know that they should never do this, because some people are like new to the game, and they watch it, and they're like, oh, that was pretty good. I mean, that guy did it, right? So, I mean, it can't be that bad, right? This guy's a reasonably popular streamer. But, no, this is actually awful, because... Well, I'm not even gonna get into it. It's it's really. This is like new meta tier. Where is that guy? Oh, and there's a pudge. It's okay actually, because he's like zero potential to kill me, and I'll end the shit out of him. Rises. Oh man, all that HP regen. Oh man, four. Yeah, pudge, you can hit me for days. Fuck you, pudge. This is a mechanic thing I actually don't know about. If he's rotting and you put him into the yes. abyss or whatever, the he still rots and takes no damage from it, so it becomes a rot machine. Oh, okay. Darkness New meta build: advances. give a bunch of stuns and then astral your own pudge. What the fuck? How did I miss that? This guy has such high base damage and it's a reasonably good animation. How did I miss that? How'd I miss that? What the fuck? That's three last hits down the down the crapper. Yeah, a lot of crapping. <laughs> how is Pudge supposed to land against OD? Um, I don't know. That's kind of like saying how would an athlete in the Special Olympics compete against Usain Bolt in a sprint? You wouldn't you wouldn't put them against Usain Bolt. Why? Because Usain Bolt is a world record sprinter, whereas the athletes in the Special Olympics are usually usually less than less than phenomenal yes. athletes but they do have one thing going for them they're retarded oh okay sort of like how i missed four easy last hits but i shouldn't be missing i should be getting 100 percent of the time this, this pudge is landing this about as well as he can which is pretty poor oh god that's five that's six I shouldn't miss any of these. That's seven. Fuck me, man. Like, I should be having, like, free farm in this lane. I'm pretty hard on myself when it comes to what I consider to be easy to assess. Right. Well, the funny on the OD no. is all the yeah. last hits. Most people just don't comment on it, but I hold oh, myself to a pretty high standard this. when it comes to just lasting in general. Yeah, one of the few. Because, like, a lot of the other streams I go to is just kind of like... But they won't just, mention it. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's not that big, but... Like, that one I could not have gotten any way, but there have been a lot of them that have fucked up that I feel like I should be getting. Wings. I haven't seen that little last hit since the DKO. I bring destruction. Oh shit. Hey, you refer to him as Serious Sid TKO. He's on the same team that Elements is on. In League of Legends. You play League of Legends? He does. Okay. He's actually, that's actually a pretty fucking good team. But the joke is that Elements is a player that was pretty much booted off his main team for being bad. Oh man, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went there. This is a pretty bad lane for the Pudge so far. Yes. The darkness deepens. Luckily, VGFX isn't here to immortalize my poor OB player. Who's that? He's he's the artist of this stream. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy does good shit. I really like the background. I do too. It's pretty baller. 
So when are you getting on the TL? On the what? On the TL. Um, I'm I'm listed, but I'm not featured. I have to be like an average of like. Oh no 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 no! Oh, that's right. You can't kill me unless I fuck up. Unless you're featured, but how? Oh yeah, you, you're not allowed to say. Okay. Yeah. I can technically say. I'll put it in Skype, but okay. after the game. Yeah, I'm on there also, but obviously I don't have like a hundred. Whoa, you mean you're not featured? No, no. There are lanes that are worse for Pudge, like like against like a Quap would be a good example. Maybe against Marana. These are lanes that Pudge literally cannot win because he can hook them. He'll never be able to kill them. And against um, fuck. I guess the Queen of Pain in particular, I was looking at chat. I guess the Queen of Pain in particular, you won't even be able to get farmed as much. Like, you, you'll just lose your lane outright and then never be able to do anything all game. But alas, this is the disadvantage of Pudge. I need the courier. Last warning. Thanks. I bring destruction. Hey guys, this is. The new D Game of Thrones up on Demonoid yet, or Black Cats, or any of those? I what is it on? Like, is it up on Trackers or Torrents yet? Well, actually, I don't use public trackers because those are usually pretty bad. Yeah, it's gonna get bad on July 12th. Why is that? The that shit. They're gonna start policing ISPs. They're gonna start policing like shit and taking away your internet and giving like fining you. Like you're not gonna be able to get your internet back unless you pay this much because you decide to do this. It's like what the fuck? Really? Yeah. It's really bad. It's. And chat can correct me if I'm like wrong or whatever. But I'm pretty sure that's the procedure for it and what's gonna happen. So I, ha I, I have almost to just want to ignore like this one last hit in fear of Pudge during nighttime. But I'll go. For it. <laughs> we should get wards up so that, like, when Pudge gets a rune and decides to kill you all, like, I'll be able to say that you saw it coming. Because there's a rune top, and if it's like an invis, then someone will die. Hopefully, it isn't me, because I'd hate to get first blooded by a Pudge. Tempted to ult just to CS, but. I missed every uphill there. Really though, if someone can please buy wards, it's like glitch. Ah oh, no, it's more important that he gets... If somebody can buy them, I can. Oh no, he, he needs his bracers, you know? Because there's a pudge with a rune, and if it's an invis, I'm not even fucking around. If it's an invis, someone is dead. Gotta get your bracers. If that is an invis though, I'm fucking dead. Like, that's one of the only times where this Pudge will actually have an opportunity to kill me. Like, it's a mystery rune that Pudge has. Okay, have fun, Pop. I was just talking about the random pump. Uh oh, well, this is awkward. I really don't want to get hooked and killed by a DD Pudge. <laughs> My wings beat with the rhythms of eternity. I bring destruction. Fucking uphills. My farm is so good, but it could be like way better if I played immaculately. This is a pretty easy lane to play OD, to be honest. Path of destruction. Like if there's ever a lane that you want to be in as OD, this would be this would be up there. Fair warning. Last warning. When are you gonna wanna leave lane? Never. Like OD carries really, really well. Okay. I held your destruction. Unfortunately he doesn't gank for shit. Well, honestly, I won't leave this fucking lane. Like, I'll just farm all day. Yeah. Because I'm getting, like, close to free farm. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I've been watching, like, except for the last hits, you know. That's what people come for. They they come for the big plays, they stay for watching me, like, AFK farm for 10 hours. 
That and they like me taking shits. They come they come for the shits actually. Big shits. Huge shits. On dark invisibility. Enormous walking car. See, I don't even want the invis rune, but I'm going to grab it just because I don't want Pudge to get an invis rune. By the way, they have a lichen, so I mean, you know, that that hero tends to do that that Rosh thing. Fuck. Oh, just kidding. I'll How play. many viewers are you playing with? Uh. Ah, the perilous heights. I don't know. I think if we win, it'll mean yes. zero. But no, I'm just kidding. I take first flesh. Ah, cool. We fed out first blood. Yes. That's really late, though, man. Ten minutes in. Yeah, no. I'm not that disappointed. Importance. It's Klings, which is yes. interesting because he shouldn't be dying. Yeah, I know, he's probably the least likely candidate to die. From the world on the floor. Holy shit. Oh my god, how much did he live with? Fucking 10? <sighs> that should have been a kill. Attack the damn wolves, there would be no point in attacking the wolves. They're, they have 550 HP. I'd be like chipping through a thousand HP. Oh, that's true. That does actually apply to some agents. I thought it was just some. No? You're right. Not bad. <laughs> nice mid feed. I could have toggled treads, but I actually would have died earlier. Unless I toggled in between every hit, which is like impossibly hard to do. Ah, the shitty Pudge is now 3 and 1. Well, this is disappointing. Then again, I did die for no reason. Like, I forced that engagement too. Like, that guy didn't want to fight me, but I wanted to fight him, and it definitely didn't work out. I'm surprised by how few items this Lycan has, though. We should probably re up the ward top before it expires. Like, you don't have to do it now, but. You know. Yeah, but I have no place to complain, like, after that. It was just a really, really bad play in general. I should wait till I'm level 11 after force this. <laughs> Pudge is speed levels walks on kills ranches. Yes. Is he mad? Oh, not that mad. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. I made a pretty small play. You There's no one to blame for that other than myself. Those are some pretty garbage offlane items for Beastmaster. OD tear through these wolves. Yes. Wait, what is the item that the bear or master has? Hmm. What do you guys grab the haste? And please don't die bottom. You realize the pudge is walking around you and you're running like pretty much into him. Oh, he just has treads. I mean, treads aren't bad on Beastmaster. In fact, they're like the preferred boot unless you're going for like arcane and max. But it's just the fact that he's so like he's so under farm and he has nothing for mana, so I don't understand how he's like doing that lane. Unless the enemies are like awful. Holy shit, you're level eight. You need to roar people. Like if you're Beastmaster, like you're not going to scale into late game anyways, but your ult has a very, very low cooldown, it's almost a one hundred percent kill. So just like walk around the map trying to roar people. Unless well I guess now you can't really leave the lane. I mean you have to keep axing it, but But you have to do stuff, you know? Last warning. Destroyed. I wonder if that Pudge is going to decide he wants to kill. Darkness advances. Double kill. From the world on the rim. The harbinger comes. I need help. I need help, mid. I take wing. Someone fucked with my choir. 
Get a nuke, dude. Are you gonna, are you gonna nuke him or? Okay, oh, good. I was get both, but this is reasonably good support. It's really, really late from Beastmaster to the point where it would have just been better for him to go back bot, but it doesn't matter. Good thing Clink has that spell that makes him invincible. I wonder how long it's going to take before the rating actually do something about that, or if they do anything at all. I don't know how high, how high is the MMR of this. Is it like. This account? Oh, this is this is your good account, yeah. This isn't technically a good account. I mean, it's the kind of play with viewers with, but it has a really, really highly positive win rate. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna go on him. Throw him, throw him. Good. My animation canceled like 50 times, and then I missed it. We can take this tower. Your top tower is under attack. I'm like trying to outlast my teammates and I'm failing. Uh, you guys should TP bot next. Like, you guys should all go bot. Oh, fuck them, I'm gonna farm. I bring back. Your top tower is under attack. Interesting thing about OD, he's one of the. Uh, he's one of the only heroes that actually, like, beats Invoker in the lane. We just flat out wins yes. against Invoker. Which there aren't a lot of heroes that can say that. But OD's high base damage and the fact that he can kind of shrug off the OD her, or the Invoker harassment or counter cold snap with his astral means that he's actually ridiculously good against. Watch this guys. Uh -oh. yes. hmm? I'm not ready. It's like he's zero point in doing that, I just wanna fuck with the budget. Man. I'm sure he shit himself a bit after that. Your top tower has fallen. Because you know today is like the day where Why we didn't all you deny brought... top? <laughs> like you're actually standing like two inches away from it and you're not really farming, so it's shit. Oh never mind, viewers. No, I don't have it. Oh nice, nice. Good job. This guy's doing work carrying the team. Yes. Should kill the real one. One of you guys come with me. Darkness advances. Sure. Do we have a Beastmaster Roar or something? This is real. Just back out. Like, just back out. Nice. Path of destruction. Ready? Wow. Oh, there's Clanks. Oh well. Pretty useless Clanks, but I mean, he actually got the kill. I was wondering what he was doing then. Nothing. See, this is kind of annoying because the Beastmaster, I think you could objectively say that the Beastmaster had the hardest lane in, in this this team because I mean he's up against a Jakiro Juggernaut so he's not even expected to really get farm he's just expected to get experience but it's it's shocking to me that the Beastmaster has more items than, than the Clinks because the Clinks you can objectively say has the easiest lane I mean the Clinks is in a like a 2v1 lane actually no I mean it's debatable I you could say the Clinks had the easiest lane but my lane was also a ridiculously easy lane but But yeah, I mean, this is like the kind of shit that's like mind blowing. Oh wait, fuck him! The new shop icons throw me the Last fuck off, man. Morning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've gone and done like that exact same thing. I mean, it's taken me so many fuck ups. Forerunner of fate. So he's gonna get hooked. He's gonna get hooked now because he's gonna run in a perfectly straight line. Oh no, he didn't. Cool. Uh oh. You should go back in. Go back in. Are you gonna go 
on that guy? Oh, you went on the Pudge instead of the guy that was okay. I would have personally went on the guy that had like less than 100 HP, but... I see why he managed to fuck his lane up. Dark shadows. Darkness advances. I'm playing with viewers, and viewers managed to fuck anything up. Like, that last game I played with Kyle was a disgusting game because, like, everything went so well, but we still lost. Kill him, kill him for that. He dies for that, guys, please. I don't know why that, like, even if that guy got a hook off, he would have died. He would not have even gotten a kill, so, like, that doesn't make sense that the guy went for that hook. Mm, I'm, I'm debating what item to go next. Just go, like, uh, yeah. Shiva's probably. The blood sun rises. Yeah, I guess. After that one. <laughs> yeah, though, it's kind of weak against this uh, Lycan, like because he's immune to slow effects. Yeah, that sank King Lena Lane, like, it's so good, and then Inflight. everything yeah, was man. right, and then, like, two people didn't, there weren't any of the fights, and then they didn't get a farm, so, like, I get, it's perfectly fine to, like, not be in any of the fights, one, if you're playing the right hero, and two, if you're, if you're, like, carrying back. I screwed up a couple things, but damn. You, even when we started team fighting with everybody, it was like, where is. Well, they had their fucking. Like, it, when it got to the point where the they had their BKBs, yeah. it was over. Like, there was. It, it's disappointing because the game was like 10 and 20 in our favor. And I was like, well, we're probably going to lose yes. this game. I mean, just the way the team comps were. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because the hook is worth it, don't you? Yeah, I, I wish they didn't give the shopkeeper voice either. Yes. My mech, mech is a really good item, Darkness in general. It lets you build the headdress up to something. The headdress is nice on OD because it basically gives you infinite amounts of sustain. I take wind. We should be here, guys. On dark wings. Ah, fresh me. Dark I don't think he'll die. Yeah, I don't think he'll die. Oh man, if that Pudge actually was fucking really dead. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Comes. I'm not running out of mid. Just keep pushing. Uh, can someone TP mid? Can someone TP mid? Can someone TP mid? Can someone TP mid? Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower has fallen. The harbinger comes. No. Oh well. Killings on dark wings. It's funny, I want the 200 gold to the point where I'm willing to just tank the damage from the... Oh shit, you're okay, my bad. No, I just had to take a really big shit, that's why I stopped streaming earlier. Yeah, like I just like it. It was pretty bad. Just make the damage free money, that was the plan. Fuck you, Iron Branch. Fair warning. Yes. But this is a game where I'm really comfortable going to the late game. I bring bad news. Why is that? Because of your early currently with zero kills, the towers that have been taken down already, the teams were taking Team like comp, and I'm on a carry. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I mean, you're on a like carry. Like, the Clinks will be useless, and if the Clinks was the only carry, this would be a bad game. But he's not, so like he can continue to have no fucking items, and we'll win. He and, and the Beastmaster didn't fuck up his lane, which is critical. Like it's so easy to fuck yes. up that lane. Like all he had to do to win his lane was not die, and just get, and then secondary just get experience and hold the tower. And he did those really well. So I mean, credit to that guy because he had the hardest lane. Well, usually, like, especially against the lane that has a lot of kill potential, and when you're playing a melee hero, people will get greedy and they'll try to get, like, four last hits, and then last they'll get those last lane. hits, and then they'll die for it, and then, like, they'll be like, oh, I can do nothing in this lane, and then, then it's over. Because if you give, if you would have given that lane kills, it would have been, like, catastrophic, but you yes. didn't, so, yeah. Good to you, bro. 
Right. So I'm probably gonna go for a sheep here. Sheep is just a great item on OD in general. Because it lets you, one, it gives you ants, which is always important, and two, it lets you disable someone and insta-kill them. And sheep is a phenomenal item in general. It's like the best item. Yeah, it's one of the best items in Dota. I'll just wrap Odie is one of the only heroes that you can actually justify getting the um, int component before the ultimate orb. Like, there are like a very yes. small handful of heroes you can do that on, but Odie is one of them. Yes. Okay, if you're still up after this game, let's you in, brah. Like, see, this Juggernaut's farm is awful, and a big part of that is to be the of these monsters. This is awkward, but kill him anyways. Don't roar him, it's not worth the roar. It's certainly not worth roaring a creep. Well, that was weird. It's funny, like, I debated trying to mech to save that guy, but I realized it wouldn't be enough. Rod of Atos isn't really that good. I mean, if there's ever a hero that would get Rod of Atos, it would be this hero, but it's still really, really bad. I can TP mid if you want to. Oh, uh, yeah, you should be here then. Like, we can make something happen if you want to TP yes. now. You'd have to t Okay, we, well, we lost the window of opportunity, so never mind. What is he even fucking doing? Well, he's going to get far. Just call for a TP and I'll come. That's good, Mango. I want to make you come. The harbinger comes. What do you do during the day, dude? Me? Yeah. Uh, either sleep, go to school, or play video games. I've went outside Wait. before, but it was awful, so I've never. I decided not to do that. Yeah. Well, I mean. What do you go to school for? I do like, some wait, courses yeah, at PSU college, right? and some at CCEC. Say so what? Oh yeah, I'm in college, yeah. Refresher on OD is hilarious. You know, it's funny, because usually I get so ahead that I actually just do go for a refresher on OD. Yes. Oh, we don't to go to sleep. Oh shit. I... Like, I've actually done it before as a joke. Like, when I'm so ahead that the game is, like, long over, I just go for the refresher so that I can wipe their entire team with three buttons. It's really, really entertaining. But it's not really good. Blood sun rises. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not really here for the good, you're here for the other. That's true. And after all, killing everyone is fairly entertaining. Here, if you can, just go for like an aggressive war. Like, just stay here as five, and then we'll make it happen. Just roar someone, like this guy. Like, roar him? Roar him? Where the fuck is my Beastmaster? Where, the, where is my whole team? What is this game? Get one shot, motherfuckers. Too bad I don't run faster than him. Yes. Give me your int. All of it. Do you have a roar still, bro? Like, roar. Just roar when you. Like, roar someone, man. It has a low cooldown. Like, it will be a kill if you roar someone. I'm begging him to roar. Radiant structures are fortified. Call me. Oh, this isn't good. That list is about to kill him from I think. Damn it, I attempted to cast with it and only managed to hit one runner. That's how you want to use your ultimates on OD guys, is to secure kills. Because everyone knows that the more kills you get, the better you are at Dota. Especially if you're streaming, then it's all about KDR. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Let's just go Rosh. They can't take a fight off of us. Huge ultimate. Last warning. Biggest ultimate. I feel bad for darkness advanced. Just kill them all, just kill them all. Like, just roar one, bro. Like, roar? 
has to be up, bro. That thing has. Yeah, why didn't you roar? It was up. Jesus, this guy just does not want to roar. Bro, you'd be a terrible singer. Oh my god, you went back after I did Lich? That was probably not your best itemization. Wait, did he still go through with it? Yeah, he actually went back after I did. Oh shit, he's so fast. Haste me? Okay. BAM! It's funny because the bounty on those necros is so high that I'm totally willing to kill the necro if it hurts me very badly. I've heard of these sisters of the thing in war. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'd astral her, but I've used it. I used it to uh, help Lich. Your top tower is under attack. In fight. Big Dusty counter the Juggernaut. That's <laughs> right, the Juggernaut. destruction. Your top tower is under attack. I assumed it was Juggernaut's dust, though. Like, it would've had to have been Juggernaut's dust. Like, it would make sense for his dust to kill Lich. I think I've killed this guy's Necro every single time he summons it up near me. I take wing. I fucking hate Necronomicons. That's like my second favorite item. And then no, I mean, it's a great item. It's a, just a joke regarding how I keep killing his Necro intentionally for the 100 gold. Oh, yeah. Like a thousand damage? I have a mech, it's okay. Yes. Look at that sustain that I get from this mech. Mech. The blood sun rises. Great item or greatest item? Greatest item. Oh wow, we have to make a decision. Oh, I know. <clears throat> uh -uh. Yes. I guess I'll go for the pipe next. You can get the third max. From the world on the rim. <laughs> Like, this guy's... You know what would be a good item for this game? Pipe? Nah, fuck that. No, no. Mask of Madness, Armlet Man. Yes. Ooh, it's true. I gave it 20 bucks, it's 20 bucks. Such a good day. Yes. International 2012 Navi AL Orange Zenith. These are all typical. Last I don't game. even. It's not even confirmed if that's true. Let's kill this guy. Yes. Good micro on those walls. Oh, he doesn't have an orchid. Well, that explains why. I was like, man, that guy really picked up his farm. Yo, who fucked up my courier? Is it your courier now, Mango? On dark. Yes. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Should I go? One's if I should go refresher next, and two is if I should go BKB. I'll let you guys decide. One's for refresher, two is for BKB. Radiant structures are Oh, that's fortified. fairly unanimous. I almost wanted to go the good item, but I guess people have made it pretty clear what they want. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Wait, did I lose an Aegis at some point? <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, we didn't kill it, okay. No. Yeah, like it was interrupted. Oh no, I can't kill that! No, no, I can't kill that! 
That'd be a grave error. Hello, Pudge. Good camera angling out of Barney. Standard. Oh, well. I like how it actually has refresher or situational. Like, there's really a situation a where you're like you're gonna need that. Oh, yeah, it's a powerful combination. Yes. Let's go one to shit. I bring bad news. Ask if you don't know the answer. Opa, Opa! Hey, let's finish Rosh. I'm sorry, nice. impossible to kill now, like, really. Good for you, Mango. Well, I'm not, which is why I want to get Rosh. <laughs> sun rises. Well, I can't bet. Oh, I get, I get told that a lot. You just started, yes. Mango. You're impossible to kill. I heard you. Yes. I win dark tidings. Cinematic Rosh kills. Look at that. I'm, I'm taller than Rosh. I have your destruction. Roshan has fallen to the dark. Oh shit, mine doesn't help you, does it? I actually regret doing that to you now. Sick redundant horror. Here, have a mech. Nigga, you cray cray. You deny my bills. Deny the crap. That's a mess. Oh, I regret this. Oh no, I don't. I don't regret this at all. Oh, clutch mech. That's such a mess. The redundant mechs all make sense now. Kill him. Kill him. Ah, don't worry, I just mech us. I think I didn't do anything because two mechs doesn't work. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. I don't I really don't want to use my ult until Oh no! It was strategical, all planned! You guys can leave. I must go this alone. Thanks for the drum. Nice try, Mango. Oh, by the way, I don't actually want Lycan to rax us here. Good bitch. Alright, this is where I do my uh my double up. Ready, Mango, Mango, are you ready? You ready? Yeah. I'll single ult if I have to. I didn't hit for anything. Uh, it's about five seconds. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fucking <Okay. retard. laughs> Like, Did you look at that thing? <laughs> what the fuck, Mango? <laughs> what is the cooldown on that? They had for like nothing to windrunner, actually. Attack. Wow, you're a fucking dick. 
Hope you're happy with yourself, Lich. <laughs> Look at this punch. I have your strength. Opa! Opa! Better you just say you saw an OD. <laughs> Man, 30 minutes a second, it's like I'm really small spirit junior. I like how I forced stuff out of the way so he had to endure it. Oh, good timing. Here, have a mech. I know, right? Alright, well, we better back away. I mean, this is getting a little iffy. Well, so, when are you gonna play, like, legit, um. Competitive games, yeah. Competitive games? Yeah. Uh, like well, in houses, friends, something like that. Banff will have to step its game up a little bit. Well, I mean, you know. I'm, I think I'm gonna let's see if I can get into NADL. Oh my god, we just got Rax top. <laughs> what? Okay. How does NADL work? Like you're supposed to have like a pause, like a specific oh, win-loss ratio, and then yeah, like, or you just, just get private. In. Okay. Dude, get me in on those. I'll cast them. I. Like yeah, I was actually gonna say like if you can actually get a couple of games where you're playing like seriously for once, like <laughs> seriously, I could actually cast a couple of those. How is this games. not a serious game? That's a serious KDR. Hey, we should just all push top and then have TPs for when Lycan tries to rax us. Yes. Oh, yeah, thirteen two. Yeah, that's true. Darkness advances. <laughs> this guy fucking. Hey guys. Oh, this is awkward. Not yet. Yes. My wings are heavy. Alright, here comes the double ult. Right. Chase the lichen. Leave Windrunner to me. You're a fucking dick. To the cold grave! I did got this. <laughs> Wait, what is Lycan doing there? Fight him? Alright, let's track stop. I grow, I grow weary. Let's just go top because they've racked us there. I feel more comfortable. Does anyone know if it's yes. physical copy if they're gonna tie to a single account? They had Dendi himself voice it, did you know that? What? I only have like 150 ends, so my ult doesn't one shot anyone. Plus the only targets that would be capable of one-shotting would be like Chris or would be like Windrunner and Jakiro, and those are uh, heroes that already have a lot of ants. Holy shit, we have a clinks? Did he just use his ult on like a net? Oh. <laughs> I know man. God dude. The enemy is top ten. <laughs> Alright, you just roar one, then I'll come in with my huge dick and two ults. Yes. Like, just roar whenever you can. Like, right there? That's a roar. Ow. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Well, this is awkward. Are we gonna lose? We should start, like, just winning. Like, I hate when my viewers think that they have permission to throw the game. Only I have that permission. Probably go invisible and run. <laughs> okay. Surge yourself, bro. And then Shivism, okay.
<laughs> What's the big question? You can double off him and count Pentakill. Who calls it Pentakill? Time for Shiva's? Okay. Shiva's is what I usually get. I kill me a lot? I don't think so. Alright, we should just end soon. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm ready to end now. We're counting our stealthy three leads. Fuck me, I am too. So, about you not dying. You should probably just haste yourself and then run. Fuck, he's actually really hard to kill. Between 27 armor, heart, vanguard, and pipe. They can kill me even with three heroes. That's kind of quite bad, I think. What about three heroes? I didn't know they had a nature's prophet. I have a dread feeling Get back in there, bitch! I didn't say you could fucking leave. I bring bad news. How are you getting bowed for a deal, dude? You only, need, you only need like a plus 60 win rate or something. Or 60%. Or you can, you can get like three vouchers for people who are already in it. Yeah, either one would work. Like this account is well over 60% win rate and this is even. So uh, what are we doing? Like I guess just back to our bot. Like just back to our bot. Or just like win the game, like just thrown it. Just thrown it honestly. Bad news has yeah, that's what I said. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. What's that like it? The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Fuck you. <laughs> Chuck ulti in there, I guess. Oh. I wanna wait till I double, because it's more humorous and much more entertaining to watch. On dark wings. There you go. See, that was what I was aiming for right there. <laughs> okay. So funny, even though you have to look. Well, that was fun. Thinking about it actually kind of feels like Refresher might be a better item than BKB and OD actually and I'm not trolling. It's actually like, if I, like, normally what I would do is I would go like, Treads, okay, like this isn't the order I'd get them, but I would end the game with like, Treads, Force Staff, Mech, Scythe, Shivas, and then as a last item I would go Refresher. Why? Because if you have like 250 intelligence, then the double ult is actually game changing. Like it's, like right now my ult doesn't actually do enough damage to like kill everyone. But if I had a Shiva's, it, it would be game changing because I could drop double ult, double Shiva's and that's, that's, that's really, really, really damaging. <laughs> like double ult, double Shiva's, that'll wipe an entire team. Too many mods? What's that Master Sparky? There you are. Yeah, Shiva's instead of mech. Right, man, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you around. I thought you were going to say a specific time there, the way you phrased that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, tomorrow. Alright, see you, man. Take it easy. So we bought this new Barney toy for my kids, and uh, I noticed right away that doesn't really work right um, until you touch his no no <laughs> zone. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. But where's that guy that like posted his stream in here? Wow, one of you fucking faggots banned him? Look, I don't, like, give a shit if someone else posts, his, posts their stream in the chat, but don't, like, fucking ban them for it, because that just means one more person that I have to, like, unban when I clear the ban list. You could say whatever the fuck you want in this chat, unless you're posting, like, Dashini or child porn or something in the chat, which I obviously rank as being on par with one another. After all, German advertising sites are just as bad as child pornography. You heard it here for, first, guys. But don't ban that motherfucker. What's the time in U.S. West? It's 5.18.
Alright, I'm gonna run that commercial, get that cash money. Alright, if you can hear me now, then you have ad block? Or you live in a country that advertisers don't deem uh, profitable to advertise in because, you know, you, like if you live in anywhere in Europe or Canada, you know, you live in a mud hut, probably in abject poverty, so people know you're not going to buy anything. But most of you probably just use Adblock, if you can hear me now. And if you, you, if you can hear me because you Adblock, then know this. There are children in Africa who are starving, okay? And they can't even afford to eat. And that's because you use Adblock. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't care if you guys use Adblock. Personally, I use Adblock myself. Because like I always say, it's very difficult to watch streams without Adblock. <sighs> I generally don't even commercial between games. I always forget to do something. I forget to do it. Barney, where should I go eat and what should I get? You should go to Five Guys. What are you going to show? You're going to waste your life on D3. Like, I'll probably play through it. I don't know if I'll like play it like as religiously as I did Yellow 2. But Barney, you deserve stream money because of all the hard work you do. <laughs> What's a good blocker? Uh, I'd recommend Adblock Plus. And then you have to get like like a subscription that like shows what sites to ban. Easy Filter is really, really easy to use. And uh, it catches most everything. Hmm, can I acknowledge who? I'm just kidding. All pick. Hmm. 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 All right, guys, what do you want to see? Chen, Pudge, Drow. Oh, they already picked Chen. Unfortunately, you can't actually play that hero. Uh, 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 uh. Drow, Totem, Pudge. Sorcerer, I could play my legendary Pudge. I think I'll play my legendary Pudge. Five seconds remaining. It's funny, I haven't lost a single game today. And I think every single game, except one. No, I actually I have I have lost one game, so there we go. The only game I've lost today is the game that I didn't go mid. Like Prepare for battle. What does that say? Waiting. Normally you should leave the pool of some gold seeking so in an early bottle. No, I didn't get the full value back! Oh god! I thought it was in time to sell it. Well there goes 75 gold. I'm let SF become low Dota. Uh, yes. Well, there goes 75 gold. Yeah, I lost the Lena SK game where we did fine in our lanes. It was a pretty disappointing game because it was the only one where I didn't solo mid. Huh. And I usually like I don't enjoy playing solo mid. Say what? Yeah, you can jungle RPG again because Beastmaster will just solo a lot. It says you're really bad in side lanes? No, I don't think so. I think it just says what everyone already knows. That mid is usually the most impactful lane. Because you don't just win your lane, you win your side lanes for your team. And usually most Dota games are decided in like the first 20 minutes. If someone's really, really bad and they can't farm, then when you fuck them in the early game and they're not able to get the items that they need to farm, then they lose. But the only game that we lost, frankly, was because the two viewers that I brought in the game were pretty fucking useless. I think Barney's reading my text for sure. The battle begins. So much meat. Sometimes when there's a lot of stuff going on in chat, it's hard for me to read everything. Here I come. So I'm gonna creep block so I can fight up my ramp. I'm probably gonna be up against a necro mid. I mean it could be like a draw or a clings, but that would be really, really unlikely. Unless it's right. a huge pub game. So yeah, it's the necro, which is pretty much expected. He put his first point in the aura, which is pretty awful, but. They'll get away with it. This is a lane where Necro's pretty advantaged, but it's not a lane that, like, is one of the impossible pudge lanes. It's a 
fairly annoying lane now. Oh, he randomed, so he has massive amounts of money. Right. I hate going up against anyone with random gold. It's pretty fucking lame. Yeah. This necro is taking a lot of unnecessary damage, though. Man, that aura is yeah, actually yeah. just fucking me really bad. Oh, we don't have a courier, so I guess you guys don't want me to win my lane. Okay. So, how bad are you again, Lena and Tide, that you decided that you didn't like want to buy a courier? Because you realize that now I can't get a bottle. This is a really bad necro, I'm gonna kill him. No, I'm gonna die. I just fucked up. I won't get this kill now, I just killed myself. Well, that was actually better than expected. But I should have died there, like, I didn't deserve that kill, I fucked it up. So, uh, about that courier, I want you guys to walk back to the base and buy a fucking courier so you can learn for your mistakes. Go ahead, start now. That's the reason I hate Pudge. Yeah, that trade was incredibly good for me, but I fucked it up. And that's a really, really bad, like, necro, but, like, I almost fucked the kill. Because the Necro had taken, like, more than half of his HP and damage from creeps. Like, look, he returned a lane, he's taken 200 damage from creeps. So he has no idea how to position himself and how to handle creep aggro. But I could have fucked myself by giving him first blood. We really need a core here. What's up, bro? Okay, now I get a kill. Like, imagine if I missed the hook there, then it would not have worked. In fact, it would have gone worse than expectation. But this necro, is, this necro is really bad, so I'm gonna feed off of him because I've identified that he's a very, very bad player. Shut the fuck up, truck! I'm trying to play Dota. Sorry, guys. I think it was actually a tractor. I live in Hicksville. Look at that aura, like I can see my health getting ticked down. I just want to kill him again, I mean he's really really bad, he'll eat the hook probably. No, he won't. He'll give me ample opportunities because he's not good at positioning, so... Like if I can't kill him this moment... It'd be nice to get wards too, but since we didn't start the game with the courier, I think that that would be asking a lot. But... You know, just just saying. Uh, good idea. I can kill this guy with any boots. Hey, Mango, come mid, come mid, come mid right now. Cause I'm gonna get a kill, and you can get experience for it. You just have to, you just have to surge me, or you can surge yourself. Coming through. You get it. There you go. I'm gonna reward you for your time. Yeah. Thank you, my dear master. You're welcome, peasant. <laughs> Realistically, it might have been that I didn't want to take unnecessary fuck, unnecessary damage over that, but. Fuck, I'm like looking at chat and I think I missed a last hit there. Hmm, the non walking. Yeah. Or flying courier is getting something from the side shop. Just be careful with it. I'm gonna see if I can kill my friend again. Or maybe I'll encounter Chen. Either one. I would be pretty advantaged unless Chen has two creeps, which he's probably at the level that he can do that yet. No, he's not. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill my buddy again. What is he, level four? Yeah, it's a pretty easy kill. Right. I'll be chopping up double damage. I'll be chopping up double damage, okay. That was really bad. God damn it. This guy is so bad at like moving around that I figured that he would just sit there and let me hook him, but no, he moved. Is he maxing his heartstopper aura? Losing a percentage? It doesn't say the percent. Yes. So I'm gonna throw out a hook, even if it's not a good hook, just because I want to bottle up anyways. Fuck, that was really bad. I should have gotten that. I keep glancing at chat. You know, the anime just isn't high in the background. 
He's just high on his hatred for magic. It's, there's a difference. I personally hate foul magic as well. I don't blame any mage. Alright, I'm gonna go top and see if I can get a kill. Awful. <laughs> Wanna kill top? You build. Not bad. I like that build more than I do the Get over here. Opa! Opa! Serve your right. Forward. I'm so fortunate to be laned against a complete fucking retard that I'm able to get a first blood and win a lane that I shouldn't have won. Ah, yes. Whatever, I'm gonna miss out on a bunch of experience and I'm not gonna let the courier die. It'd be nice if we were flying, but I'm gonna miss out on a ton of experience because I'm on whatever route it is. Oh, unless it's weird. This isn't awkward anymore. Why is this guy trying to kill me though? I mean, I could just turn it and probably kill him, but I'm gonna be a pussy and not go for it. This won't hit. Good, that's that creep will live another day. Just as planned. That guy's an ult, so I don't want to eat that. I just want to use the regen. <laughs> These hooks, man. It's like I'm Dendi himself. But I just did that hook because my regen was still on. So it's basically a free hook. Like, I'll throw another one out in three seconds just because I can. I mean, there's really no point in not. Actually, this guy really wants to ult me, doesn't he? Holy fuck. Why am I so scared? Because Necro can actually fuck me pretty bad if, he's, if he has the experience. I mean, all he really needs to do, like if I if I hook him and I don't ult him, then he just drops a heal and then he ults me, and then all of a sudden it can go ganks gone wrong, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm playing really really passively. The reality is this is a really fuck. It's a really really bad Necro, so I don't have to be as passive as I'm being. It'd be nice to have wards though. Yeah, so that's the second time I've postured towards the rune and it hasn't been where I checked. Now you always want to like toggle your, like for, mm -hmm. like having plus strength when you use your bottle will reduce the overall amount of heal. I mean it doesn't reduce the amount of heal but in, in terms of like percentage, so if you toggle your treads to agility or if you're full HP and then... Mm -hmm. Opa! Opa! Yes. See that hook cancel? Yes. Ah, good idea. Now he ults me and then I die. Why didn't he ult me? I was dead. Thank you, Platypus. Good sir. Hi, hi. Mm, smell the fresh air. You didn't mana check him, you may not have had it. Well, what is he using his heal on? I mean, he's a Necrolite who's put points into it. Well, actually, he doesn't have a single point in his mana thing, probably. Oh, Valid. I think I'm going to kill my other friend. Oh, I should have waited until I had full HP. Yeah. I mean, you don't technically need full, but because the, the effect of the well will stay on you even after you exit the well for a little bit. But here I'm like down 200 HP that I don't need to be down. It's not a very big deal and it won't actually matter at all. Hmm, I guess it will matter. It's disappointing. See, I could throw out a hook knowing that it probably won't hit. But the payoff if it does land would be really, really nice, but I don't want people to criticize me. See there, like, if he didn't make any attempt at dodging it, it would have hit, but no one is that bad. Well, actually, there are players that are that bad. We've seen Necrolite. And this is like a free kill rune for Pudge, actually. 
Invisibility. Because I can just point blank ult him, or point blank hook, and then ult. If they, like, if he doesn't have wards, which he clearly doesn't, like, he's basically dead. And there we go, proof of concept. Usually throws out a CS hook on the range group in situations where you want to use bottle for health, yeah. It's not bad, especially if you have arcanes. But throwing out CS hooks will make viewers question you. No one will ever question Demon, but people will question me. You're like, Barney, it wasn't much a waste of hook. Why'd you hook a creepy fucking noob? And I'll be like, well, dude, that was what I was supposed to do. The big Barney. Oh, huh? <laughs> for one. I'll be like, no, I didn't want to. Okay. Here I come. It's like I'm gonna walk away. Just, just leave him. Just leave him. Just leave him. I. Opa! Opa! Keep it on. But he go low power punch, get free kills. Oh god, so bad. Cloak is really nice on Pudge because you hurt yourself so badly. Your middle tower is under attack. What is my level? I probably have level everyone. Holy fuck. And the worst part is that we're not even really that ahead, despite me having so many levels, because no one on my team has a farm except this guy. He's the only one on my team that has any farm. Everyone else has a disgustingly bad farm. I attack command and ally creep to break tower I go there. Instructions are fortified. Pretty sure everyone knows how to do that by this point. If you see clinks, just roar him. Yeah, if you see clinks, just roar him and I get a free hook. Whatever. We can push this tower easily. I know. This is, this is a creep between me and Clink, so I can't actually get this kill. See, that was worth just an attempt. There's almost no way that it would have hit. That was where he would have been semi if he ran the straight line away from me. Hey, someone defend bot, you fucking retards. Like, why would you let him do that? Like, I mean, that's an area that is very, very easy to farm. Like, Lena, why don't you just buy a TP and go there? Like, that guy's gonna take our tower to half HP for absolutely nothing. That's a pretty big deal. I wish I could fuck around, but I'm not even playing a pub. I'm playing a game where my team is probably gonna be worse than, like, a pub team. You ready? Oh man. Oh god, I fucked up. My bad. Even if I would have hit that, I would have died because there were four heroes, but I would have taken this guy with me. You guys. Oh, never mind. Mango, you're gonna have to probably carry, so you're gonna have to get a bunch of items and do stuff. But there wasn't really much reason for me to have died there. It was the first death I've had to an enemy where I didn't just help deny. But NOPA! NOPA! But it's funny because with the new TP animation, I always expect them to come when the TP hits the bottom. So it's like my sense of internal timing is thrown off. Yo, guys. Like, really? Dude, don't, 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 don't. Just, yeah. What are we doing as this happens? That guy's not even going to be able to take this tower. Why did he go for the glove of haste? Normally, you'd want to get like the belt of strength instead of the glove of haste. You can assemble treads with any of the plus stats components that are 450 gold, but I have no idea why people value the gold pace. It's because usually the people who do that are dumb and they think that, oh god, I need to hit fast. But this is going to be a pretty disappointing game because we don't really have a lot of carry potential. I mean, the enemies do if they get farm on the right heroes, but short of that, they really don't. You 
die alone. I feel like my team isn't at team fights and they're not really farming. So hey dude, you should actually level um Call of the Wild. That's a fairly good ability. Your inner beast, the difference between having one point in it and having four points into it is like twelve attack speed or some shit, right? Whereas your greater boar is a fairly useful thing. If you know what I mean. And you should know what I mean. I mean it, it's like this is the second game where you really haven't leveled that ability. So it's it's just not really that good if you go that right. <laughs> what is your opinion on Sopa? Oh, I love it. We need to protect the children and stop piracy. Yeah, we're actually probably going to lose this game. That's pretty fucking sad, because that Drow has a Midas and a reasonable amount of farm, and none of you guys have any amount of farm. And you need to fucking thank you. Yes, you need to level that. One point inner beast is useful more than that is. Don't you fucking touch that! Don't even fucking think about it, okay? Alright, I'm never going to fucking play with you again. You're a fucking asshole. That wasn't funny at all, because you can't do anything. Fucking stupid bitch. What an asshole. Good stun, dude. Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. Oh, God. You're pretty bad, by the way. I gotta admit, that actually is pretty fucking annoying. Because we're- I'm not even, like, kidding. We're way behind. Yeah, Lina- Lina just took an invis rune and then, like, saved her dragon tail to get a kill. Pretty annoying, considering that we're not in a position where we're actually going to win the game. Because it may be 8 to 11, but that doesn't mean that we're ahead. They actually have a gold lead on us right now. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it's- it's like, I, I would- I don't mind fucking around if the game is, like, over. But we have no late game and they're out farming us, so it's- it's not as funny. God damn it. I, I know, it was kind of funny, man, but I really want to win. Yeah. And I won't win if I have, like, negative teammates. I... Hi, hi. Is that an actual Chen minion? No, that's not a Chen minion. That's just a really, like, aggroed creep. You don't need to be here. You should be farming something or making your time useful. I'm gonna see if Chen wants to farm this camp, which he doesn't. Yeah, you can sell cheese, it's worth 500. <laughs> There's a clinks on top of you, Lena. Opa! Opa! I like how I was the only one to TP there, though. I really didn't want to have to TP, but... No one else wanted to. Coming through. <laughs> it's a... You guys should like be doing useful stuff because I'm just trying to enjoy myself and walk around killing people. Head now. What do you mean when you took the invis? No, you were just fucking with me like when you took the kill. Because you could have like you couldn't justify not using your uh, dragon slave Broad before. Terry. Because if you didn't dragon slave, I mean dragon slave is a very low cooldown. What is it? It's like eight and a half seconds. Uh, and you could have used it any time. It's like you can't try to like make that argument. Like if I were to watch the replay, there'd okay, probably be a clink somewhere on the mini map. I explicitly mentioned not to take it, and then you took it. So it's pretty fucking annoying. Uh, yes. And I wouldn't mind it if, like, again, if like we were even in a good spot, but we're not. Come on, dead. Might as well just buy a TP. Ah. The enemies are like moving as five, it's pretty dumb. We call that the pub train. Yeah, so Clinks will have an orchid really soon. Is he gonna die to creeps? That's a really great Clinks. And this guy just has arcanes and two bracers, which you could have like I don't know, 10 minutes into the game, it's 20 minutes. 
This guy was in a suicide lane, so you don't expect him to have him as that much. But he went brown boots drum and only has one level in his Call of the Wild. And he's level 9, so, uh, okay. And this guy has treads, which you could have, like, six minutes in. Which is why I'm kind of nervous. I really didn't want to lose this game. But at this point, I, I just... I don't know, I can't... It's like, the enemies would have to fuck up really bad for us to win. And if I look at the levels, like, the only one on our team that has levels is me and Darkseer. I mean, Darkseer has an okay farm. But, hey, please don't go travel with this game, because you can't get away with it. I mean, normally you can do that, but in this game, it won't, it won't be good. Oh, someone else was here. That could go aggressive, but... One of the reasons I'm opting for the four staff is because we're so far behind that I need to be able to like try to secure kills in fights that we're behind. Okay, yeah, we're really behind, so we need to like I don't know take take those DNRs. Yeah, that's a really bad necker. I don't know why he's in a mega kill now. Like he went like 0 and 4 in the lane, and now he's gone 5 and 0. I hope it's 4 staff. That really is an awful fucking necro. So I, I hate losing to people that are really bad. It kills me inside. Why is he not running? I don't think he realizes that he could probably kill me because despite having really large health, the Pudge is really, really low armor. Pudge dies pretty quick when you target him. Yes. This reminds me of the Sand King Lino lane. Force Staff is an amazing item. You got me. I think when you crush someone in lane, they have to end up with a good score. Uh, yeah, I mean, it usually doesn't happen, but. I don't know, man. You get games like this, I guess. He's gonna continue to try to farm. He doesn't know that I'm here. He'll come out. He will. It's worth me sitting here, even if he doesn't come out. <laughs> now he's not coming out. Yeah. But the like the chance of killing him, even if it's kind of slim. Like I, th I just know that the Clinks is dumb enough to come out. That's why I assumed that he was. So. Well, I wish my team would be careful because they're so far behind that they can't actually do this. This is such a shitty yeah. Sand King, too. He's going for a Scepter instead of a Blink Dagger. Un unnatural. Now this guy goes invis and then he becomes invincible. He's had it for a while, dude. The enemy's top tower has been denied. Like, Veil is even better than a Scepter on Sand King, because it'll increase your damage by much more. So it makes no sense for him to just... You should put that over the tree so that it doesn't die. So it makes no sense for... And, and like, he's not going to get off good ults if he doesn't have a Blink Dagger. And that Sand King has had about zero. Like, zero good ultimates. Shit, he's had zero mediocre ults, too. Like, that guy just hasn't gotten his ults off. So his goal shouldn't be getting off better ults. It should be just getting off ults. He's basically sat there. Okay, yeah, I know. He's pretty scared. That's cool. I have no idea how this necro became unstoppable all of a sudden. Such a fucking shitty necro. Ah, oh, I hate games like this. You should try to defend this. Come here, I'll earn you. I'll earn you. Thanks. Just defend it, like. Try to roar someone if you can. Ideally, make it Clinks or the Drow or the Chen. No, so much clutter, I can't get it. Take all of those minions. Oh, this is gonna be a really bad fight for us. Holy shit, this will not end well. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, what the fuck was that? I was closer to the fucking Chen. That was so much closer to the Chen than his fucking minion. Some bullshit right there. Opa! Opa! 
Like, I swear that was fucking close to the chen. Just go in. Dude, go in. You have a fucking... Oh, you don't have a ravage. Wait, why don't you have a ravage? Whatever. You got it. There's a clinks on top of me. Just keep going. Opa! Opa! Oh, this ain't good. Take that illusion. If I'm dead. Eh. Block him, block him. I admit that was not what I was going for. I was trying to hook the clinks, man, but it ended up being good because then he body blocked the path. Like, I could have just juked and TP'd, and that would have been very, very easy to do until Beastmaster cut down the forest, which is afterwards, but it would have been very, very easy to just juke and TP, but I decided to go big because you either, in Dota 2, you either go big or you go home, and I sure as fuck wasn't ready to go home. Here I come. It wasn't an accident, okay? I, like, there's one path here, but I, like, I didn't account for the Klinx's movement speed. So it ended up hitting the tide. But it was fucking bullshit how my hook hit the Chen's Dark Troll Warlord and not the Chen himself. Because it was a good hook. And it should have hit him, but... One thing I hate about Dota 2 too is like... If there's any latency, then the hook, it, it has like very, very weird fucking properties. You can find a million videos on YouTube of hooks that are just like, they look like they're not gonna hit, but then they do because of latency. Head now. Yeah, that's a good work. Did I kill them both now? Oh well. So is this guy just, just instantly sandstorm or instantly stun away when I get him? I always expect that he's just gonna stun away the moment that I hook him, but then he never does, so that I end up looking dumb. Are there situations where you wouldn't get hooked for Pudge? Uh, if I was really, really behind, I wouldn't. I mean, there are situations where I would just stop at Cloak, but I'd almost okay, always get the Cloak. You, Lena. Okay. Yeah, HUD is almost always good on Pudge, because you get, like, you, the HP regen is really nice, as is the magic resistance, because you hurt yourself so badly. How to enable the green line? Uh, it's in the channel description. Basically, it's a, it's a console command. It's like a secret account. What is the hero that... Um, I actually don't, like, I never played Dota 1, I played Han, so, like, I'm not really too excited about any of the Dota originals. Most of the heroes that haven't been ported over actually look really bad. And, uh, like, that makes sense, because most of the heroes that haven't been ported over are bad heroes, simply, simply put. So, it's because they tried to port over heroes that were, like, relevant to the metagame. I wonder when Sand King will decide that he needs a Blink Dagger. Oh, I guess not now. He wants to finish his scepter so he can continue to get off zero ultimate. Just be away. Wait, did I get just aggressively stunned? No. Here I come. Oh, me, motherfucker. Like, look how little my rot hurts before when you have a hut. Righty. I wish I could carry dust myself, yeah. but I really don't have the inventory slots. Like, I already had to get rid of my bottle. No, that's one of the only heroes that looks like he'd... He's, actually, there's just, there's a small handful of heroes that I bet are, like, relevant to the metagame. That are still not added. Fuck. Fuck. That RNG... Well, it's not even RNG, it's just actually unfortunate timing. 
Bristleback is in like he's insanely popular in Han, and he's he's numerically a little bit worse in Dota, but he's still I bet would be a fun hero. I don't know if he'd be like considered a competitive pick. He's picked in Han, but the, the metagame in Han is a bit different now than it is. Oh yes. I don't even remember what Terrorblade did. Whatever. Should be really careful, bro, because you don't know if there's a Quinx on top of you. No, you do now. He's not there. Let's go, bot. Do TP bot, TP bot, TP bot, TP bot, bro. I need your fucking roar. Oh, you don't all need TP. I just really needed the roar, like, cause they, it's, it's unlikely they're gonna push up, but if they do, then the roar is gonna be really helpful. I, I... Thought I could hook him when he's in this. I guess not. Oh well, there he goes. <laughs> Going for those clutch and viz hooks. Forward. Holy fuck! I have a pretty reasonable amount of flesh here. Right. Go go. Oh, Dennis here. Just uh, Chivas, bro. Right to it. Keep fighting. Opa, nopa. I'm surprised that he ran up and not towards this tower. It's pretty interesting decision making. Yeah. Uh, we should just like rush or something because we're so far behind that. Like the longer the game goes, the more scary drowning things are going to become, and then you guys are all gonna pretty fuck. I heard Naga Siren and Medusa are actually picked. Uh -huh. You guys go Rosh. You shouldn't need everyone yes. to do it. I'm gonna see if I can get a kill on Clinks. I'm just gonna keep pushing. I don't see why he'd back off. But this is not gonna be an easy hook. Uh, he knows. We'll see if he comes out though. I mean, he's basically just sitting here AFK. Your top tower is under attack. Oh, yes. Wow, that's really interesting decision making. Turn me over. Turn me over. Roshan has fallen into the Usually you want to have the bird outside of the Rosh pit when you're doing Rosh. It helps a lot. That or like a ward. Then again, we didn't get a courier, so I guess I can't really expect too much. Modded by dust inventory slots I mentioned earlier. Coming through. Leviathan and Beastmaster ulti plus a fucking Lagoonathan. Why are you scared of a Drower Clinks? Because there's an item called BKB I... that would make them shit all over our entire team. We have like no right click damage and any team that that's true of is really really vulnerable. Hi hi. What's Bleep Stack's record? I only play with viewers on this account. It's actually a really good record. Actually, I actually don't only play with viewers. I still queue on it kind of rarely, but it's still worth noting. But surprisingly good. Ah, oh, thank you. That'll help you to get your next item. <laughs> Just kidding, I guess that's the same item for like the last 20 minutes. Heading out. You're getting close to it, fortunately. I ain't good. Waiting. Does that guy have no items? Holy fuck. My he has a Tagon? Do you have dust? Did you do one? Kill me again, kill me again. Oh, there goes Sagus. So here I'll probably go for like an AC. I already have plenty of HP. I mean, a Shiva's would be nice, but we already have a Shiva's, and two Shiva's is kind of redundant. Whereas an AC will actually give us some right quick damage. That is so fucking annoying. You've done that five times this game. But an AC will actually let me right click people to death. I can't believe that guy went a fucking Dagon. 
It's like a 30 minute day gone. There is hope yet for this game. It's just unfortunate the Necro who got 0 4 in the lane has proceeded to go 8 and 6. At least he's dying now, though. But I need money for buyback. It's pretty important. That way we don't lose the game when I get fucking ass raped eventually. Looking at the level distribution makes me kind of nervous. Heart of Frost would be useless simply because I already have so much. Uh, so much HP. And like. If you look, having a lot like having a lot of HP in in and of itself doesn't make you like that tanky. Oh no! Having um having HP and armor though will make you really really resilient to right clicks, and then the HP will make you resilient towards spells. There's a there's a clinks right there by the way. Just be careful. You can tell because the necro heal that he can outrun followed him all the way there. Very subtle of clinks. Oh, yes. Let's take on this more taking damage You're can't beat that logic. <laughs> well, you're kind of annoying. Ah, that'll help her to get more items. Hi, hi. That is. The clicks has a DD too, yes. which is the saddest thing. Do you have a dust? Nopa, Nopa. Why did he? He kept pursuing that guy. That's why they didn't hit. I figured that would actually hit if he were going that way. But do I have a dust? Do I have a dust? Good roar, by the way. Yeah, we totally need this better roar. I. Take move. I like to do the BM pauses. Head now. Yeah, just take the tower. I might actually win because that Clinks is fucking around too much. Real. If only we had a roar, then we could stop that guy from one thing. I wish I had a TP. This is pretty awkward because now I'm gonna die. I can try to go for a really shitty juke that probably won't work against anyone with a fucking brain. Yeah, I got Necro that pop was uh, something uh, stunned, so I was pretty dead there. Couldn't even get my ult yeah. Awkward moments to not have a TP for 500, please. <laughs> 5k gold, no TP, yeah. Pretty good, huh? Holy fucking manly. Bro? Bro? Real target? I like your work, Pudge. <laughs> Sounded almost creepy, but I'm probably gonna sell for uh late game travels. Broadsword. Okay. Your top tower is under Let's see if Dustin will be killing him. Your top tower has fallen. How much is AC? It's like 5.2k or something. 5.3k, whatever. But it doesn't matter because I don't have the inventory slots for it in, right now. Like I have to sell my treads for Lake Game Travels. Lake Game Travels are really, really good anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. If we bought the armor stuff, he would have lived. Yeah, but if I would have bought the armor stuff, I would not have even been in that situation probably. It was still a good trade. Like I, I basically man fought a Drow Ranger. Hey, look! You see that fire? That means there's actually a Clink standing on top of you. you. You should actually just blink away, bro. Like I'm gonna be frank with you. 
Oh look, wow, I'm absolutely shocked. Never happen again. Fuck a fuck, fuck a fuck, where is AC? Oh my god, shop, I fucking hate you! Right, we're expecting sandy claws. I hate the new shop because the icons throw me the fuck off. I'll bring the sword to the lambs! I still have money for a buyback, right? Yeah, okay, good. That's what I was concerned yeah. about before. I need just enough for to have a buyback after this. Opa! Opa! Hey, do you guys think it would maybe be a good idea to be in the fight? Like, something tells me that would have gone a bit better. Want a Laguna Blade the Necro, or no? Want a Laguna Blade one of them? Oh, nice. Okay, good timing. That was a really good self-deny, though, by Drow. She realized that she was going to die to the to the uh, urn, so she just walked into the neutrals and then got herself killed. Buy back? Oh, it's not worth it. We can't take a tower off of that. These guys are pretty dumb though. Like they should have. I mean, the, I think I'm 99% sure the tide was actually there. He might have bought back or something. I don't know. But I know the Lena wasn't there. That's pretty frustrating. Oh, oh well, yeah. This is when perseverance really pays dividends. 42 minutes in the game. Never get hard games. The enemy's top tower has fallen. Well, they basically gave us some stars. I mean, they have an SK, but if SK doesn't have blink, then I can understand. I don't know. We're still not ahead. I don't know. Like, I don't even fucking understand this game. Like, the Necro is somehow the highest level on their team. And he's really, really bad, but they've... They've... I don't know, man. This is like... How does it make me feel? Fuck, man. Like, I don't feel like we should have gotten that stuff. I don't know. We should try to do Rosh if it's up. I still have a buyback. Whatever. Clinch of shit talking. Yes. Yeah. Just take it. Like if we can force a fight on it. We need a ward, like or or a Beastmaster Hawk. Like those are both really, really nice things to have. Beastmaster, please summon a fucking hawk and stand the hawk like here, okay? Can you do that for me? Holy fuck, that sounds so condescending. It really was. I can't hold it, so give it to uh Oh fuck, man. Actually, I'm just gonna sell Aaron. I'm gonna grab it. I'd rather have the magic stick than the Aaron at this point, to be honest. Let's just push bot. Let me grab that, let me grab that, let me grab that. Fuck, if this Lina trolls me again by taking my Aaron, I'm gonna fucking murder a child. There's no reason for us to win this game, though. I mean, we're so far behind. Even still, we're not ahead at all. You guys just push it out. Like, they don't know I'm invis, so I can maybe hook them at the tower. You stay with me, Beastmaster, because you don't do any damage anyways. Just stay with me. Is he not listening? Hey, bro. It's a real bad spot to be in, because if they walk around the corner, you're dead, and everyone is too far to help. Beastmaster? Beastmaster, come with me. Come with me, bro. I need your roar. I can't solo kill anyone at this point. Eh. You need to use the hawk. You need to micro that, bro. Like, you need yeah. to... Like, we should see if the enemies walk up behind us. Like, just resummon and then, and then like, leave the hawk, like, back here, or, like, Bye. somewhere, you know? You can blink... If you blink Ravage, then we'll, we'll win a fight. You just have to get two euros, and that's it. Like, now! Yeah, yeah! Kill, kill her! Please, please kill her! I have an Aegis, keep fighting. Oh, he 
bot back. Ah, fuck. My favorite customer. Fuck, that isn't good. Let's click up real items. They pro yeah, they would have won. Like, there's no reason for us to be here. Like, this game shouldn't be anywhere near close, but it is actually. And at this point, we've kind of got over the hump where I figured that we would have lost the game by now. We can actually take fights off of them. The Drow actually had a DD there, and that fucked us pretty bad. And my ult was down because I used it to fuck the Sanking, and then Sanking had a buyback, so. I don't, have, I don't have a buyback now, so just be kind of coy about it. Good idea. I really need to have a buyback, but I opted to finish the AC, which is a very, very debatable decision. I think you can make a very compelling argument for why I should not have done that. Like, if I were to die here, it would be very, very bad. But I can right-click really hard now because I have tried some AC. We should get a smoke and try to smoke gank. I rob by the smoke because these guys are too dumb to fucking buy a courier at the start of a game, so I don't expect them to be smart enough to buy smoke. Holy shit, we got a smoke. Uh, yes. Someone come bot with me. Oh, Fuck, that was awful. Oh no, I'm dead! No, I'm, I'm fine. Nice search. Roar it, roar it, bro, roar it! You can roar her when she does that! Why don't you fucking roar at the right time? Oh my god. You can't win the fight now, dude. You, like, what? You can roar through BKB, bro. It's like superior magic. God, that's game, I think. Only with the buyback is Darkseer. Well, I mean, they won't end the game, but they'll rax us. Fuck. He roared an illusion? Well, that's pretty bad. Your tower has like, I pinged the one that was real, too. As though it wasn't obvious because it was one with the most HP. Ugh. Just try not to get racks, guys. Like, you can see the outer towers, just try not to get racks. Well, that's. That's interesting, I guess. That'll teach the drought to fucking put illusions into Brawl Master's face if you don't play that shit. But that, like, I don't even know what these games are, man. Like, the enemies are all really bad. Like, what was that? She missed both of her spells unless she was aiming for the creeps, of course, in which case in which case it was phenomenal. Oh, that was bad one. Just to do surge away. Like, does he have an ult? Yeah, that's why I wanted you to surge away. He just used the ulti on the Her Laguna blade is up, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Uh this is when you get a bloodstone. forty eight minutes in the game. When you're six and eight, is when Bloodstone is the best. Good thing she got that bl big Bloodstone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now I have inventory slots, so I can do this. But this game is like, oh man, he went Dagon five. That's why we're still in this. It's because it's a use. The Clinks didn't just go Dagon one. He spent eight thousand and five gold. He could have had a Daedalus and like a Yasha, but no, he went Dagon five like a fucking retard. Fight them! Fight them! Fight them! Fight them! Fight them! Fight them! Nope, uh... Right to it. Alright, whatever. Put him in it, that's what you're gonna do. This is honestly the only point in the game where I've had the ability to actually carry us. We need to just get a smoke. I am the team's right click damage on a punch, which is pretty fucked. Like, just like clear the creep wave mid and then smoke up. Guys, just smoke up here. Beastmaster. Bro. I'm still dead. Hold on one second. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, wait yes. for Darks here. Like, just back paddle a little bit. Like, come to here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Now smoke. Just smoke. Uh -huh. There's a Clinks here. Well, Do you have dust? <laughs> you should have dusted the moment that our smoke broke. Because there was a clinks on top of us, bro. My dust was on cooldown nice. when I dusted him earlier. Just follow me. Why do you fucking do it in such a redundant fashion? 
I think we win. We win. Kill, kill her? Don't block me with your Creepy Master, it's called Micro. Whatever, I'll just go around so that you don't fuck me up anymore. Oh, he tries to fuck me again. This is amazing. Just Racksmith, please. This game is like watching two My retards game. fight on the playground. It's just fucking painful. No, you're not, you stupid bitch! You have a bloodstone! You get the fuck back! You have a fucking Laguna Blade and a bloodstone. You don't fucking leave until you use that ultimate, okay? You don't get a leave until you fucking ult someone. After we get this, just take the melee racks, then take top. Take melee racks, then take top. Take melee racks, then go top. You don't need the range racks, you stupid fucks! I said it like 20 times! I'll say it 30 times if I have to. It wouldn't be any less true, the melee racks is pretty fucking useless. Just take melee racks. Take melee racks and B. B, now B. Just B. Just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. Alright, so that's good. Like, that fight was huge, because we shouldn't have won a fight at 51 minutes with this team comp against their team comp. But we did. Oh, yes. I have a buyout as well. You guys should save for buybacks, and just throwing it out there in case you weren't already. Like, you guys all have buybacks, that's good, so just don't buy items, you need to have buybacks. This game's like Bronze League? It's worse, motherfucker, it's worse. Whatever. Oh no, yeah, the range racks is useless, my bad. I said just take melee racks and beat, but... It's, it's because the range racks doesn't really do much for you, and it'll usually get taken by creeps anyways. We can just pressure on bot. Do we have another smoke? We should just smoke up again. Whatever, I'll do it. Here, I bought two dusts, so like one of you guys can dust, and you should make sure you have a buyback, everyone. Right. Smoke us? Like, everyone just group up towards bottom and then we'll smoke. Uh -huh. they had, yeah, they had no wards, so the Sand King with like 3500 HP. And uh, yes. uh, ironically enough, though, the we still won the fight, but the Beastmaster ultimate was worthless and the Lena didn't even ult. So it's like, if we can I win lie. fights under those conditions, we can win any fight. Just ult? Well, actually, no, that's not true. We can't win any fight. We really have to take out someone who's useful uh, instantly. And we picked off yeah. two of them fairly, fairly early. No, it's okay. You got it. I don't think we're even going to find any of them. If we encounter one, then... Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's Necro. Whatever. It's okay, just follow me. Holy fuck, she hits so hard. Oh, man! Just back on what are you doing? Dude, there's a fucking DD clinks. What are you doing? What what? Is he trying to farm the fucking creeps? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> like what back in the <laughs> I don't even yes. fucking know anymore. Uh, dude, what do you mean? You don't have an inventory slot, dumb bitch. Like, here I come. Oh, thank you. Ah, good idea. We should just go for something like that again. Just don't waste buybacks, and then we need a ward on Rosh. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's these fuck chest. We can fight this, we can fight this. Someone? Oh, that's real. 
Hey, mini map. SK ult, bros! You're hitting creeps as he's channeling an ult. I think Lena's blood stun healed me. Keep fighting. Shivas, Shivas. Oh, you don't have it. I'm dead. Grab jam, dude. Oh, whatever. Just run, bro. No, just run. Just haste yourself and run as soon as you can. As soon as you can, you should haste yourself. I know. Sorry, man. It's just these the huge plays have really thrown me off here. That was such a late buyout, but I'm gonna do it. They still haven't grabbed the gem. Fucking insane. We should posture for Rosh, guys. I'm pretty sure they grabbed the gem now. I actually just defend. They're gonna push, I think. So like, they're gonna lose top racks. No, no, no they won't push. Just go Rosh, go Rosh. We should keep on smoking because we haven't been using our smokes really. Eh. Like just smoke into Rosh. Make sure you guys still have buyback since you haven't bought back yet. So like just save them and then yeah, just smoke into Rosh from here. Smoke us, smoke us. Okay, good. Oh yes. You should actually move the hawk out of the pit. Yeah, yeah, nice. I will defy you. After this, we'll just push bot, and then if you die, just buy out. Immediately. Because if we force the issue, like if we get a good roar and a good like all, here, one of you guys grab Aegis because I'll be able to cheese in a fight. Like, yeah, you grab it, and then we'll just big dick our way into the fight with our twenty thousand HP. Oh, yes. <gasps> if we can pick that guy, if we just solo ravage him, just solo ravage. You didn't even get him. Oh shit. Do we have no dust anymore? Well, we can't push now. Fuck. Okay, you didn't even. I don't think the ravage even hit him. <laughs> well, eh. we can't push without that though. Just like. Right to it. Scare tactics. Unless we can pick one, just just chill around their forest. Like we don't really need to farm anymore. So just like just follow me. Just follow me around. You you don't need to push bot. Like it doesn't matter. Just sit here for we just like. Uh, like you know what? Yeah, just follow me. Just follow me around. We'll just pub train it. Unfortunately, they would win an engage in five v five. All right, just back off. Just back off. Just back off. Just back off. We should just keep pub training and wait for Bring Ravage. Well, I told him to Ravage, man. I just assumed that he would have a dust or that someone else would. So we need to have a dust on someone. Like, sentries at this point are fucking useless unless you're using them to counter wood. I put a dust on the courier in case you guys don't want to spend the money on it. Like, you, you could have a dust too tight. And you're actually building an AC, and I've had an AC for the last... 15 minutes. It's gonna be really, really bad if you complete that. I would just save for buyout and never complete it because it won't be of any value to us. Right. Like, just, just come here, guys. Come here. Do we have a smoke? Do we have a smoke? Like, come here. Everyone, just come here. Like, our Ravage is up in 40, so this will be good for us. This is Carry Lena? No, this is... Oh, cool, a Dagon. Right. You should give me my cheese back. It's time. Can't even use it. If you can solo Ravage the Drow... Or the clinks, then do yeah. it. But we have to have a revelation if we're gonna go. Oh, great! Dust, dust, dust! Uh -huh. I think it was a little late. The moment that the smoke gets blown, you need a dust because that was a clinks that just saw us, and that's why this guy pulled out from bottom. That's the second time where clinks has blown our smoke. You must feel the pain. 
fuck. Smoke breaks when you're within 800 units of something, so... Yes. Doesn't matter, the moment that we... that we hit someone, the dust needs to come out. Okay, you have to ravage into their base. Stick the hawk here, okay, motherfucker? Right there where I'm pinging. 